guys, I'm here with a tutorial. I know, don't yell at me. I haven't made a video in quite a long time. I've been very busy, but I have a project that you guys will like and you'll find out soon. And as you see in the title, up here or down here or wherever you're at, it's how to put souls on your Spider-Man costume. So, this is what you need. <laughs> You'll need a Sentai suit, any of your choice, a pair of scissors, just be careful and don't hurt yourself, any type of shoes, aqua shoes or whatever, mines were winter boots, some insoles, I found these at Walmart for $2, some strong glue, I use E6000. Um, the first thing that you're gonna do is grab your shoes and cut them. And the trick is that you want to leave the sole. You can get aqua shoes, and or these shoes, or dressing shoes, whatever you want. I picked these because it's pretty rough, um, kind of flexible, and it feels comfortable. But yeah, you're gonna cut them up and leave just the bottom part. See, you got them up just like that. You can get any sole that you want. It doesn't have to be this shoe, exactly aqua shoes. You can do exactly the same. Just try to get them, just try to leave the bottom part alone. If you can just pull it, then pull it, but if you can't, then just cut them. I know some of you guys are gonna ask, oh, but they're sewn together. So when they're sewn, sometimes they have a little seam that comes right here and you can just open them up and try to cut them and you'll get a sweet spot and if you're lucky enough you can just rip it up but try to get them like this aqua shoes the same thing some of them are not even sewn you can just take them off but it, it takes hard work okay so just do that and it'll be awesome and it's gonna look great try to get your shoes that fit tight don't get them larger than your feet. Try to get them. These are girl shoes, so I got them small or no medium. Girl shoes, and I just put them on at Walmart, and it fits perfect. You see, guys, like right now, I got the sweet spot, and I can just rip a little bit or a big chunk. It depends if you're lucky or not. And that's it, you see? And then you just keep going until you get the sole only. Now, guys, that you have. Everything, every single little piece of fabric off your sole, you're gonna take one of these insoles or whatever you call it, I don't really know, and you're gonna try to find and cut the size. You can either mark it, I'll just take, I'll just trim and until it fits inside because this is gonna go inside the suit. Alright, guys, and voila! Now it fits perfectly, snuggy inside of there because this is going to go inside your sock when you put it in. If you want it a little bit smaller, just go ahead. I decided to make it a perfect fit so it goes inside of everything. And if you want to measure it, voila, you see? Perfect. Okay, it doesn't have to look pretty. Some shoes have insoles that you can just remove and that's it. So if you want to do that, then go ahead. But this is another way they sell these for like a dollar at Walmart. I found them. Make sure they're fabric completely. And yeah, on to the next step. Now this is the fun part. You're going to put your suit halfway. You don't have to put the whole thing, but make sure you align your suit, your suit because if you don't, it's going to come out really messed up. I just put it exact, I put it on first, then I took it out halfway, if you see the arms are right here. And yeah, you want to use, I use long socks, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I think shorter ones will be a lot more difficult to take off, but you have to be really careful. And you're going to take out your soles and this. But I accidentally forgot to put this inside the sock, so I'll be right back. So, I put the sock inside the sole, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of, it's better than that. And all you're going to do is take out your 
E600 glue or shoe glue, whatever you want, and you're gonna put it around the shoe everywhere as much as you can, okay? Well, I put the glue everywhere and just let it, just wait for it to get tacky, little dry, just let it dry up a little bit. Um, don't just wait until it dries up completely either, but give it a couple minutes. It'll dry up. Make sure to align your lines. I beg you, align your lines. I'm not responsible if your suit gets messed up. I've already told you. Align your lines. Put the suit first. Put it. Adjust it how you like it. Then unzip it to halfway. Again, here's my arms and then my actual arms. And all you gotta do is just step on it. Make sure you're comfortable. This is what you're gonna do, you step on it, keep pressure, and that'll be all. Now what you're gonna do is just tie them up, and you see how it looks? It's really cool. You tie them up from every angle, some angles are gonna look like that. Just put some glue and try to put some force into it. Put another rub um, rubber band, and it'll be awesome. It'll be pretty cool. And that's it, just leave it. 24 hours with gentle pressure. I usually put a little box with filled with things that it's not too heavy. I put on top and that's it. Just be really careful when you're using scissors. Be careful you don't cut yourself or have someone do it for you or supervise you. Whatever. I'm not responsible just in case if your suit gets ruined or you get cut or you possibly kill yourself. But yeah, um, I'm sorry I've been very behind with my YouTube channel and I know all these changes that's been going on, YouTube play change, but anyways, the suit is going to be something very important, something that I've always wanted to do and I hope you guys wait and be patient because it's going to be worth it and it's going to be awesome. I just hope you guys will enjoy it and that's it guys, I hope you have an awesome day or night and yeah, take care of yourself.